here we go with another video and in this video I will be talking about MC light now you know, all know I like to give a brief intro before I go in deep so here we go Lana Michelle Moore was born on October 11 1970 in Brooklyn New York she started rapping around the age of 12 years old which eventually led to a single called I cram to understand you which led to a recording contract with the first priority label MC Light's debut full-length album was Light as a Rock that surfaced in 1988 with a follow-up of single Eyes on This that followed a year later. These two songs jump-started her career right along with her sophomore effort which produced the hit single Cha 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 that peaked at number one on the rap charts right along with the anti-violence track Cappuccino. Then later, MC Light turned to Belle Biv DeVoe's writers and producers, Wolf and Epic, for her third release overall in 1991, Act Like You Know, which was more of a soul music base, which featured Ain't No Other, and of course, one of my favorite singles from back in the day, Roughneck, that earned her a Grammy nomination for Best Rap Single that turned out to be the first gold single ever achieved by a female rap artist. Then in the mid-1990s, Light had relocated to a new record label called Electra Asylum, issuing such further releases as the 1996 Bad As I Wanna Be, which featured a duet with Missy Elliott on the track Cold Rock A Party, and 1998's Seven and Seven, which included further guest appearances by Elliott, as well as Giovanni Salah and Ed Okuje, and then later produced the track Play girls play. In addition to her own albums, MC Light has teamed with other artists from time to time, including the group Escape on the song Keep On Keeping On, a track that also appeared on the Sunset Park soundtrack and became Light's second gold single. She also tried acting with appearances on several TV shows, including Moesha in the House, plus crime drama New York Undercover. MC Light has also put aside time to become active in several social projects and organizations including anti-violence campaigns rock the vote and AIDS benefits in 2001 Rena records issued a 16 track career overview of the very best of MC lights um, she also is a voiceover for the BET show and many others now let's get personal Well, it seems that Light's personal life managed to stay out of the limelight. There was at some point that she was rumored to have been gay, but that wasn't true. I mean, she's happily married now to John Weich, whom she married last year. But the bliss life wasn't always blissful. She got into it with legendary beef rapper starter Roxanne Shante back in 1993 with her track called Steady Fuckin'. In response to Miss Shante's home released an album dissing her. At this time, Miss Shante was the hottest rappers on the scene starting many battles and beefs with all female rappers of that time. Take a listen to it right here. <laughs> you want to test light are you stupid you gotta be out of your fucking mind mc light is the dawn come down mc light scene dirty bitch you dirty dirty bitch 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 Said your poom poom stay slow down. You're moving too fast. The 50 
music said he stuck a curling iron up that ass. Now you think you're hot shit. Step in the light with a limp, trying to pop shit. You're still a loser. No joke, when I see you, I'ma hit you with the cruiser. Set the bitch on fire. Your fucking days are over. Now, I know the question more than likely came into a lot of people's minds. Does she have any kids? Well, from what I read, she doesn't have any kids. But this is how she feel about kids and family and all of that. Take a listen to this. In general, I think as black people, we tend to p put a lot of pressure on our men to not look like this, look like that, stand, do, you know, all of these um parameters that we want them to live inside of and so I think of how it is that black women may date outside of their race because a lot of those guys don't feel that way it's like they weren't brought up with those extra pressures to pretend to be harder than you are mm -hmm. or what you innately feel you know if you're sensitive about an issue but you want to play like you're not so then it it reads through as anger and it, you know that's not where you want to live and then the the other thing that it made me think of, I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> you lost your train of thought. So, so your I did. Foundation. And we have a bunch of celebrities that come on the panel and we just talk about what it is to be in relationships with money and relationships with men and how all of it works and would you have joint bank accounts and you know would you want everything in both of your names you know it's just a lot of uh this is a good talk a lot of strategy laura needs to come to light you're not in a current relationship no i am not Where, have you ever been married no i have not did you ever want to be married um did i ever i still do really yeah family children children um you know it's okay if he comes with some you don't want yeah. any of your own? I don't, I don't, I'm not going to say I don't want, but it's not my primary goal. Let's get pregnant right mm. now. Right. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Because that, you put your profession mm -hmm. and your work mm -hmm. before that. Did you feel like you were sacrificing that at any point? Were, was there uh, ever that you know crossroads? What? Yeah, I think in, in my mid-20s, I was like, okay, mm, I'm really ready to settle down and have kids and, you know hang up hip hop. It just wasn't in the cards. It didn't I pan that, out that way. I and I'm a much different person. You know, I'm way different than I was in my 20s yeah. now. So I'm glad I didn't. Now, now would be the time. It's funny because I always felt like um, I had to be married and, or have children by a certain age. Mm -hmm. And now the older I get, it's like, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, I'm okay with that too. Mm -hmm. You know, but at first, you know, I guess it's also a cultural thing because I had a lot of pressure from my family. Like, mm -hmm. time's ticking. Right. Where's my I mean, granddaughter? I, and now I'm like... I do want someone to love, yeah. you know. Um, I don't know that it has to be wrapped in marriage, even though that would be nice, and I guess many women hope for that. What I know is that I have a lot of love to give. And see, with women, we want to make sure that whoever we're putting this love into is not only worthy but they're not just going to take it and you know right go off so right. i think that might be a little bit of yeah what you're no that's absolutely right. what it is. but yeah. it's a, what like i said it's a delicate dance yeah. so there you go mc light is not with the elite she's one of few who did it safely so her rewards are with merit and will be everlasting well, that's it. Tell me your thoughts below. Oh, and don't forget to stop and shop at my online merchant store. And also don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And also don't forget to follow my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I post them every day. Hope to see you all there. Love you all. Bye.